Afghanistan 2002. Picture this. You're a US soldier deployed in the rocky terrains of Kandahar. You're accustomed to the dangers of war, but nothing could prepare you for what's next. Emerging from the shadows is a colossal figure, a giant that could rival the biblical Goliath. This isn't fiction. This is a tale that has been circulated among certain circles within the military, sparking debates and gripping the imagination of those who dare ponder the unexplained. Welcome to the Enigma of the Kandahar Giant, a story nestled on the borderlines of military accounts and modern-day myth. It's a narrative that feels almost too astounding to be real. A tale that reads like an episode from an ancient saga, yet it's a story that purportedly unfolded under the watchful eyes of modern military technology. The legend of the Kandahar giant circulates among servicemen and curious investigators, each adding their own textures to this tapestry of the inexplicable. The tale begins with a US military unit deployed in Kandahar, a region rife with conflict and historical complexities. The soldiers were there on a search and rescue mission aimed at locating a missing unit that had vanished without a trace. As they navigated through the unforgiving terrain laden with weaponry and equipment, they stumbled upon something they couldn't have trained for, a giant towering at a height described to be somewhere between 12 to 15 feet. Eyewitness accounts speak of a creature with red hair, six fingers on each hand, and double rows of teeth, a far cry from any insurgent or civilian they might have expected to encounter. But this was no passive giant. Reports indicate that it wielded a large blade, reminiscent of an ancient spear. Combat ensued, with the soldiers discharging their firearms at the creature. According to the most circulated versions of the story, the giant was eventually brought down, but not without cost. Military accounts suggest that the creature took a toll on the unit, claiming lives before succumbing to its injuries. But what happens next adds layers of governmental secrecy to this already sensational story. Instead of a transparent investigation, the tale takes a turn into the shadows of conspiracy. The giant's body was purportedly airlifted, concealed under a cover of tarps and darkness, and flown to an undisclosed location in the United States for study and examination. No media coverage, no official reports, only whispered conversations among those who claim to be in the know. If the details sound larger than life, it's because they are. The physical features of the creature, the combat, and the secretive aftermath are elements more befitting an ancient chronicle or a cinematic epic. Yet, the account persists, shared in hushed tones among certain military personnel, discussed in online forums, and dissected by those daring to venture into the realms of the unexplained. This legend of the Kandahar giant is not just an isolated rumor, it's a narrative that has spiraled web-like, capturing the attention of skeptics, believers, and those teetering on the fence of uncertainty. What sets this tale apart from mere folklore is its placement in a modern setting, a war zone in the 21st century, with trained soldiers as eyewitnesses and the shroud of military secrecy as its backdrop. Long before hashtags and viral trends, legends had a way of traveling through time and space, passed along from person to person, each storyteller adding their unique embellishments. But the tale of the Kandahar giant doesn't belong to the dusty corridors of antiquity. This is a story of the digital age, a narrative propagated in a landscape of social media, internet forums, and perhaps most intriguingly, among military circles. The story seems to have made its first appearance in the early 2010s, circulated via online forums frequented by military personnel and enthusiasts of the unexplained. Here, anonymous accounts claiming to have insider information began to drip-feed details of the encounter. 
As with many tales of this nature, the anonymity of the internet provided a fertile ground for such a fantastical story to take root. However, it wasn't confined to the pixelated pages of internet lore. The Kandahar giant made its way into radio interviews and podcasts, where individuals, often presenting themselves as military insiders, shared their versions of the story. They spoke with gravity, under the weight of anonymity or pseudonyms, claiming that the story, though cloaked in layers of secrecy, was a classified account that had somehow broken free from the confines of confidential military files. And let's not overlook the role of whistleblowers, individuals claiming to have been part of the event or privy to confidential information. While their identities remain shrouded in secrecy and their claims unverified, their contribution to the legend is indelible. They've given the story a sense of mysterious authority, making it even more compelling to those who devour tales of conspiracy and cover-ups. Yet, despite its contemporary origins, the tale echoes older myths. Giants have been a part of human folklore for millennia, be they the Nephilim of the Bible, the Titans of Greek mythology, or the Jotun of Norse legend. The story of the Kandahar giant taps into this rich tapestry, fusing ancient fears and fascinations with a modern military setting. The origin of the Kandahar giant story is as complex as the tale itself, born out of anonymous online whispers, emboldened by alleged military testimonials and framed within a broader human fascination with beings of enormous stature. It's a story that has found fertile soil in the 21st century, a legend for the digital age, captivating and controversial, waiting for either debunking or confirmation as it lingers in the corridors of the internet and the human imagination. The tale of the Kandahar giant, as beguiling as it is, comes with its own set of controversies. It exists in a space where skepticism and belief wage a constant tug of war. So, let's unpack both sides of this divisive narrative, shedding light on the doubts and the purported evidence that fuel this ongoing debate. On the skeptical front, the story bears many hallmarks of an urban legend or modern myth. No tangible evidence has been presented, no photographs, no physical remains, nothing that would pass the litmus test of scientific scrutiny. Skeptics argue that the tale has flourished in the echo chambers of the internet, where validation often comes in the form of likes and shares rather than empirical proof. Additionally, the absence of corroborating accounts from the military or the government casts a shadow of doubt over the story's authenticity. After all, could an incident of such magnitude involving a multi-person military unit truly remain under wraps in an era defined by leaks and whistleblowers? Contrast this skepticism with the claims that purport to lend the story credence. Interviews with individuals claiming to be military insiders add a layer of palpable tension to the tale. According to these accounts, the reason there's no official confirmation is precisely because the incident is shrouded in layers of classified information. These claims often come with intricate details, descriptions of the giant, the blade it wielded, and even specifics of the military operation. These narratives present themselves not as fiction, but as eyewitness accounts, shielded by anonymity, perhaps, but presented with the gravity and detail that command attention. And then there's the broader context, historical accounts and folklore replete with stories of giants. Could the Kandahar giant be a modern day manifestation of a phenomenon that's been reported in various forms throughout human history? Proponents argue that this continuity lends the tale a degree of plausibility, suggesting that there might be smoke where there's fire. In the absence of concrete evidence, the story of the Kandahar giant remains a subject of spirited debate, teetering on the edges of skepticism and belief. It's a narrative suspended between the desire for empirical proof and the allure of the inexplicable, held aloft by both the skeptical questions that seek to ground it and the tantalizing claims that give it wings. If this exploration into the enigmatic world of the Kandahar giant has captured your imagination, please hit that like button. Your engagement fuels our journey into the unknown, 
and to make sure you don't miss any of our future expeditions into the fascinating, the perplexing, and the downright bewildering, hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. Thank you for joining us on this intriguing journey. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and most importantly, keep your mind open to the endless possibilities that our world has to offer.